So today I have like a pin haul for you. These three items I officially bought off of Depop, but the seller that I bought them from also has a Etsy store. And I found out about all these items through her Instagram. So I will put all the information for that below, but the shop is called Little Mort and, and all of the items are sort of like handmade bases, kind of mainly jewelry items and sort of pins and badges. And they just have a really kind of unique and really nice handmade look to them. Little bought out a Halloween range and I was super excited. There was one I really, really wanted of like a moon with a witch and a cat on it, but apparently that one went like straight away because by the time I had looked on her Etsy store, it was gone. Um, but she did bring out a bat range and I couldn't resist. As soon as I got some money, I was straight over there and seeing if there were any left. So I did actually buy one of her bat range. I did get one thing from her Halloween range and also one kind of crystal based item. So I ordered these on Saturday and they were with me by Monday. So she shipped them out so, so quickly. I was literally so surprised when I came home on Monday and I saw this package and I was like in slight disbelief that it had got to me so quickly. So I was so extremely happy with the postage. And also I was really excited when I saw this package. I thought that the tape on this bag was hilarious. I'm not sure if they're meant to be pumpkins or oranges, but it's just like the funniest um, like Halloween tape I've seen. It sort of reminds me of some of the items that they sell in the shop Tiger. Um, it's a chain store, I think it's only in England, but they do sell a lot of these kind of items with very like personified strange faces on them. But I thought that was quite funny and made me even more excited to open this up. So the first thing I pulled out was this ghosty bag and I am 100% saving this bag. I want to like cut out all of these ghosts and make something with it. All of the ghosts have like weird like expressions. There's one with moustache, there's one with like rosy cheeks, there's just one with a really large mouth. Just thought it was so cool and I love how like cartoony these ghosts are. It was also kind of sealed by a little ghost like squishy sticker as well which I thought was a really nice detail and this one is kind of the packaging which the bat one came in. Now with like the Halloween um, and like bat themed ones it came with like a little Halloweeny goodie bag so it's full of confetti. There was this super cute little bat ring which I'll be applying to something. Um, a scary little plastic spider that did actually make me jump when I opened it. Crafty squishy shapes and also like a bat um, jelly sweet which I was really excited about. And after all that, I found the item I actually ordered, which is in this really nice like black organza bag. Now, one thing which I love about like bats, my favorite kind of bat print, I actually stuck it on all my Halloween boxes this year, is vintage like star bats. There's like probably about four or five different illustrations of bats and they have a very vintagey, almost like Victorian look to them. And they are my favorite illustrations of bat. Like when I see any of those pictures um, of bats and illustrations of bats on any items, I just want to get them straight away. So when I saw it on a pin, I was so excited. Now my favorite one had already been sold, but I absolutely adored this one as well. And I was really excited that I was able to get my hands on it. So here is a little bat and you can see how detailed he is. He is really nicely cut out onto wood as well so he feels really nice and sturdy i do sometimes worry with like acrylic pins that they're gonna snap especially when they're like this intricate but on wood it feels really really nice and it feels like i could probably wear this without having to worry about like breaking its legs or wings falling off i absolutely adore the illustration and i am amazed by the quality of this as i did say these are kind of handmade items and with handmade items obviously some things won't be finished off to the quality of things from like a factory where they're being mass produced but honestly this is so gorgeously finished and it just looks so professional. On the back it has a really nice regular pin as well. I do find sometimes with the clasp pins they do come undone and I lose my pins and my badges which really annoy me especially when you're spending a little bit more on pin badges and things so I was really glad to see that it was this kind of pin because it's going to stay on my jacket a lot easier and I just I'm really, really tempted to go buy the other one. There was three um, and now two of them are sold. So I'm really gutted I missed out on the first one. Otherwise I would have bought all three of them and they could have flown together. But I'm definitely gonna be looking out to see if she's got any more of this star bat. As I said, follow her Instagram. Everything that she's doing comes up on her Instagram. You get like little sneak previews and things. And it's kind of like the best place to be if you want to know about her up and coming pins. I just adore this bat so much. I love all kind of like the colors and shades and definition within his wings. And I just, I think he has such a cute little character as well. Cause I love it when bats aren't just kind of flying forward at you. This one's kind of off flying on an adventure to the side. 
That was the first pin I got. Now, I can't remember exactly how much each of these pins cost because I got mine as like a combined price, um, but I believe these are around £6.50 each. So this next one I got is the kind of crystal themed ones. Now, I actually collect crystals. I absolutely love them. And my favorite crystal of all time is amethyst. Amethyst is my birthstone. It's the crystal I connect with the most and I absolutely adore it so much. Now, I saw these pins go up on her Instagram and then she put them on her Depop account. There was lots of variety as to the different crystals but this one came in this nice stripy bag which kind of looks quite halloweeny to me as well and it reminds me of like tim burton beetlejuice and on it it has this kind of like gorgeous like floral sticker inside the package there was this like cola lollipop which i'll be giving to my boyfriend because it's his favorite flavor and there's also loads of little free stickers which i absolutely adore there is this one which has a kind of blue nice tone to it and then there's like a little um, unicorn there. This very kind of really pretty simplistic one or some kind of succulent cactus plant. I think it's so gorgeous and I actually do collect cactuses so I'll probably be sticking this on the pot of my prize cactus. This beautiful little pink flower one which I'm going to be using within some kind of Mother's Day card probably. And finally this one which I absolutely adore, it's like a little kind of blue and turquoise crystal and I just think it's so gorgeous. So then the, the pin badge itself came in this really nice purple organza bag. I really like the fact that they're like wrapped up in these separate bags. I really kind of kept these in a nice condition and they haven't kind of rubbed against each other or chipped or anything. So I'm really, really pleased with the packaging of this. So again, this is a really, really detailed pin and I absolutely adore it. Um, it's a very nice sort of purpley amethyst colour. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually meant to be amethyst, but it does really remind me of amethyst. Just kind of the colours and the shapes of the crystal. It's so, so detailed as you can see and there's so many different colours. And because of the way this is kind of printed onto wood, I'm not sure if it's like the kind of front paper that's used, but it kind of almost changes colour depending on the light. Um, when the light kind of bounces off of it, it kind of shines and glistens just like um, a crystal would do. And I just think it's so gorgeous. It looks so pretty actually looking at it in real life than on the photos. Because on the photos, it kind of just looks like a drawing of some crystals. But when you see it in real life, you see just all the detail that's within them. Again, it's on a really nice quality wood backing. And then there's a nice like pin badge at the bottom. I didn't mention as well that these pin badge do have like safety clasps on them. So it means that they are really nice and secure when when they're actually on the jacket or whatever you're planning to pin these to. So the last one I got came in this like Halloween like trick or treat goodie bag and I absolutely adore this bag. I think she may have got it from Asda because I already own items with like similar characters to these but I may be wrong. In this bag there was um, another kind of like little felty item. This one's a little black cat which I love. There was also this like a luminous green little plasticky rat in there. Pretty cute and at first I thought he was like a gummy like sweet so I was pretty happy to find that he's actually made of plastic because it means that I can keep him forever and have him with my weird oddities and stuff there was an absolute ton of confetti and i thought this one was so gorgeous because i haven't actually seen this spider web confetti before i kind of have a load of halloween confetti which i like to put in my packages and things and i don't know where she got this from but it's absolutely gorgeous there was a little skull and crossbones ring a chocolatey ghost a gummy brain and a gummy cat to go along with the gummy bat i got in the other package and last but definitely not least, there was my pin. Now this is the one that I got from her Halloween range. It was my second favourite one after the witch one because I've come to get some form of like a Halloween-y black cat. And I have mentioned before that I love this kind of like vintage style of Halloween black cat. And this one is pretty similar to my favourite illustration of a Halloween cat. So just like the other pins, he is highly, highly detailed. Of course, it's a black cat and he has green eyes, which is the selling point for me because I love black cats with green eyes. He's also got his mouth open in that very kind of cartoony way, which is kind of the look which I really like about the kind of vintagey Halloween black cats. He, again, just like the other one, seems a really nice quality. The actual print itself is put on there so, so nice and smoothly. And then the wood is cut very detailedly around all the fur of the cat. This year I've been on the hunt for like vintagey Halloween illustrations and I feel like especially this cat and also the bat that I showed you at the beginning have that kind of very vintagey feel to them I just think they are so gorgeous and I was so impressed when I opened these and saw how high quality they were and how well they'd been made she also added this gorgeous um, little card in there with a note on the back 
Hello Kitten. As well as her business card where you can find all the information as to where you can find her. Again, I will put all this information down in the description below so you can check out her store and also her Instagram. I have to say the customer service for Little Mort shop is absolutely amazing. All of my questions and my messages were answered like straight away and I still can't get over how quick her delivery was, not to mention all of the kind little gifts that she added into my package. I absolutely adore all of the pins that I bought from Little Mort and I am so excited to be like applying these to one of my jackets. I have a certain jacket in mind for which I collect all my Spooky Box Club um, pins on and I feel like I may kind of dedicate a little section to Little Mort pins because I am definitely going to be buying more of these in the future. I absolutely adore pins and badges and things, especially homemade ones. So if any of you guys know any really nice shops that also sell this kind of style of pin or badge, please do let me know because I'd be really interested in checking them out and seeing what kind of things they offer. I hope that you're having a spooktacular October. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them below. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade and I will see you next time. Bye.